Hi, are you ready? So this is the third vid on the third lesson of the integration pack. Um, do you remember when we did double angle formulas and I said that there's the two other forms for cos 2x? So we're going to use them for these examples here. So these are the ones we're going to use them for. I want to replace the cos squared. So if I add on 1 and divide by 2, then cos squared x is going to be a half plus a half of cos 2x. And the same here, if I do some swinging around, take that over there, take that over there, I'm going to get sine squared x is a half uh, minus a half cos 2x. There, that's right, I think. Yeah. And we're going to use these formulas so I'm going to change this integral because it just doesn't work if you just add 1 to the power and divide by the power and divide by the bracket differentiator. It just doesn't work. So I'm going to replace the cos squared with a half plus a half cos 2x. So the half will become a half x. And remember with my sine cos minus sine minus cos, cos goes to sine. But I had a half of it, but I've got to deal with that. So I've got a quarter of sine 2x, because I had the half already, and then I've got the 2x bit to, to deal with, uh, plus c. There, perfect. One for you, so you're going to change that into a half minus a half cos 2x. So it'll be a half x. Minus cos integrates to minus sine, so the minus is there, and differentiate the 2x, stick it at the front underneath it, gives me a quarter sine 2x plus c. There. There we go, so that's that example done. We're on 2 minutes 15. Wowzers. Right, so tan squared. You've got to be careful because you know if you integrate secant squared, it goes to tan. But well, people get that confused with the other way around. So I'm going to use this one here. So I'm going to change tan squared into secant squared minus 1. So that will be secant squared of 5x minus 1. So I'm changing that. And I know that secant squared goes back to tan. So it's tan of 5x. Differentiate the 5x, stick it at the front and bottom, and then minus x plus c. There. Uh, this one is a free secant squared 2x. And secant squared, you know, uh, goes back to tan. But you've got that 2 as well, haven't you? So tan 2x, differentiate that a bit, stick it on the bottom, plus c. There. So it's not too bad, is it? Uh, example three. Right. <laughs> so you've got to spot that this is of the form of a double angle. So sine 2x, we know, is 2 sine x cos x. So if I double all the x's, sine 4x is 2 sine 2x cos 2x. So a half of sine 4x is sine 2x cos 2x and that's what I'm going to integrate very speedily so it's going to be a half sine of 4x dx so sine cos minus sine minus cos sine goes to minus cos differentiate the 4 stick it on the bottom that leaves me an 8 there and I'm on 4 minutes 21 so I don't want to try that, that fourth one. Um, that's literally, I've got literally one example to do, I think. And then that's the last one done, so I'm going to do it on a separate bit. Okay. Uh, 